Well, I mean, Tesla really faced a severe uh, thre threat of death uh, due to the Model 3 production ramp. Essentially, the, the company was bleeding money like crazy, and, and just, if, if we didn't solve these problems in a very short period of time, uh, we would die. Uh, and it was extremely difficult to solve them. How close to death did you come? We were yeah, within single-digit weeks. 22 hours a day, or like, what, how many hours? Yeah, working, yeah, so seven days a week, sleeping in the factory. Uh, I worked everywhere from the, I worked in the, I worked in the paint shop, general assembly, body shop. No one should put this many hours into work. This is not good. And people should not work this hard. I'm not, they should not do this. This is too, it's very painful. Entrepreneurship is hard. I know it's glamorized right now and everybody thinks you're gonna build the next Snapchat and there's all these 20 year old millionaires. It's hard, it's lonely, you have to love it. You have to be a firefighter. Uh, and so I would say uh, proceed, do it, but be realistic. We're living in fairy tale land right now around entrepreneurship. This is a hard game and we've had a great economy globally for the last eight years. So I would say be prepared for some punches in the stomach, in the mouth, and other places, and if that sounds great, then proceed, but if you're doing it because you wanna be on a yacht in the Caribbean in a couple of months, you're gonna lose. Everybody thinks they're gonna be Zucks. Go look at the data. The data shows that the far majority of this room will not succeed, not even close, to building an actual business. And I don't come here to be somber. I come here to remind you that there's only one thing you can do. The only thing that can trump your DNA, the only thing that is controllable, if you want it, if you want this, is work. Nobody you know has become successful outside of it being given to them from their family. Nobody you know has actually created success without working their face off. It doesn't exist. So you can sit and talk about luck, and you can sit and talk about this, that, or the other thing, but I promise you, the only controllable thing you have is your work ethic. So, you need to deploy serious, serious self-awareness and figure out who you are. I implore you to start matching your work ethic and your actions to your mouth. If you're gonna be a billionaire, you need to realize that most people that create billion dollars worth of wealth don't do anything besides work every single day of their 20s and 30s. All of them. Uh, you need to work, if you, if, depending on how well you want to do, particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA. and. Uh, we're, we're so hot up, we had just one computer, so the website was up during the day, uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period, and in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So, work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's, that's the, the thing I would, I would say, if, if you, particularly if you're starting a company. My family went on two family vacations my entire childhood. I was married to my wife for five years before we had a family. We took two vacations. It's the price you have to pay if you want it at the level that I want it at. And by the way, I advise nobody to want it at that level. It is so extreme. It is all in. I I'm always talking about hustle and hard work and people like to razz me too much, too much. The only reason I talk about that is it's not interesting for me to sit here and tell you to become smarter. The one guaranteed controllable thing for this entire audience, row by row, is if you work more, more could happen.